next one. This is Chola of Finance we're talking about. Uh, the stock actually sold off. We had the management with us in the morning and uh, the concern seems to be, I mean, the sell-off actually started after the conference call. Uh, but the, and the concern seems to be the uh, NPAs in the new business segment, which is basically lending to SMEs, lending to uh, lending into the unsecured segment. And I think there's one more small uh, bit to it. So these are the major heads. Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> you know, we asked Chola uh, with management, what would be the tolerable uh, sort of, you know, NPA in that particular segment? And the management did say, on an overall basis, it, they're, they're okay with, uh, you know, that level rising to about 25 percent But there is more detail here and more nuance here, uh, which Abhishek is going to explain to us. Abhishek, over to you. Uh, well, Prashant, as you mentioned, uh, Chola Malam did have a con call. Uh, key highlight is that the new business loan NPS are below industry uh, norms and within the expectations of the management. And it is lower than the secured business of Chola as well. Now, early vintage delinquencies have shot up over there and not a concern as of now. And they are uh, saying that it is coming under control. Now, just to explain our viewers, uh, there's two parts to this uh, new business that they have formed. About 25-30 percent is source from uh, various partners and about 70-75% is done by them on a standalone basis or on their own. So in that own category, uh, the traditional lines of business that they are doing, the gross NPA is at 0.8%. In this new category of which is via partnership uh, that they do, uh, the uh, gross NPA is about 4.7-4.8% over there. So that is the niggling worry that uh, has caught the street off guard. Uh, they are cautious on, uh, you know, taking stand with respect to partnership going ahead uh, they'll be more cautious on the partnership line they'll be slowing down over there that is they'll remove the partners uh, many whom they do not find uh, feasible and partnership is protected by the FLDG that is first low uh, loss uh, default given over their guarantee uh, however they are also taking it on hold uh, with respect to them also providing on the same if at all defaults are higher so uh, they are not adding new partners uh, they are helping partners to correct their systems and also saying that they are slowing down on partnership segment and which partners to, ha to have it in their portfolio and which to remove. So uh, they are increasing filters especially on the collection mechanism uh, which is there with the partnership agreement that they have. So with respect to demand outlook they say that the festive season uh, passenger vehicle and construction equipment were good from the Shara perspective. Uh, tractors and two wheelers will improve from November onwards and commercial vehicle will improve in H to FI24. With respect to credit cost and unsecured share, uh, they did say that, uh, you know, the overall credit cost for the entire entity will be about 1.1% to 1.2%. However, the new business segments will carry higher credit cost than the tra uh, traditional business that they are in. So, unsecured share, they'll try and maintain it uh, within 10% over the next few years. Back to you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, for